You can find out what Kate does and who she is in her program, book, in her program bio, or you can talk to her or bug her on Facebook. However, she can also be what she describes as obnoxious in sharing about mental health in both, way, in both those ways. She's always happy to talk with anyone about mental health, and she's so excited that she can use this performance to begin a conversation. Her mental health story is like a lot of others you'd hear, cutting a suicide attempt, more than one hospitalization, crippling anxiety, guilt from the pain and difficulty she's caused her husband, she is diagnosed with bipolar II, PTSD, and adjustment disorder with anxiety. But she isn't defined by those labels, and she chose not to perform about her own story. Instead, she chose to perform about the feelings, the worries, the thoughts that so many of us with mental illness have, but don't say, except in conversation with someone else who has mental illness. Another peek into our brains in hopes that change will happen. Tonight, she's dedicated her performance to Bob Keenan in, in his memory. Here is her essay, Because. Because it's an illness, but one you can't see, and don't worry, one you can't catch. Because every morning, it can be a burdensome struggle to wake up with. And because that struggle and secret is daily. Because what if my friends find out? Will I still have friends? Because what if my loved ones find out? Will they still love me? Because no one should be excluded. Because no one should be afraid of me. Because I have an illness because it can make relationships crumble until you can't pick up the pieces. Because what if my job finds out? Will I still have a job? Because that is a fear that no one should have just because they are ill. Because every time I hear someone use the word crazy or insane or nuts, I want to scream! Because I can't educate everyone. Because every judgment I hear or feel adds to the judgment already existing in my own head. And that judgment breeds guilt about the burden that I must be. And that guilt builds inside me until it consumes me. And platitudes don't help. And no, I can't just snap out of it because that's not what I need from others. All I need from others is love, patience, understanding, and compassion. But for some reason, that is so much to ask for because nobody would dream of treating a cancer patient the way that they treat me. Because I shouldn't be afraid to ask for help. No one should. Because there are questions. Choices are hard. And there is no cure. Because I shouldn't question or feel guilty for being myself. Because I am so much more than my illness. Because I have bad days. But I have good days. And I am on a journey. And I, I have found my voice. And I will use it for those who have yet to do so. Because we, we, we are not alone. alone.